Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at bar graphs. Bar graphs are a really awesome way to see information very, very clearly. Bar graphs are super helpful to compare two different things to one another and to also get some information about one single thing. In today's bar graph, we're going to be looking at aliens and how tall the aliens are. Bar graphs are going to make seeing this information quite easy. So let's take a look and get started on alien math bar graphs. Meet the funny aliens. Use the graph to help you answer the following questions. Check the correct answer. The first thing I like to do when I see a bar graph is kind of just take a look at it and notice some things. So the first thing I notice, of course, are the aliens' names on the bottom and the really cool aliens that go along with them on top. The aliens' names are Paul, Sally, Zach, and Omar. On the left side of the graph, I see their height in inches. This is going to tell me how tall each alien is on their own. Because each alien has their own bar, I can see how tall each alien is, and then I can even compare the alien's heights just by using my eyes. Let's get started with the first question. The first question asks us, which of the aliens is the shortest? Well, I also noticed that the height starts at 57 and ends at 62. So the shortest alien is going to be the one with the smallest graph that's closest to 57. Let's take a look at each alien and see. Our first alien, Paul, is at exactly 61 inches tall. Already just by looking, I can tell he is not the shortest alien. Our next blue alien, Sally, is 59 inches tall. She is shorter than Paul, but are there any shorter aliens? Our third alien, Zach, is a whopping 62 inches tall. So far, he is the tallest, which means he is not the shortest. And finally, we have our pink alien, Omar. And Omar is only 58 inches tall. And just by looking at the graph, you can easily tell that Omar is our shortest alien at 58 inches. Let's check the box for Omar. Our next question asks, which of the aliens is the tallest? Well, let's use that same strategy again. If we look at Paul, we can remind ourselves that Paul is 61 inches tall. Maybe he's the tallest, because Sally is only 59 inches tall, which means Paul is taller. But Zach is all the way at the top of the graph at 62 inches. Do you think Zach is the tallest? Well, when you look at Omar, you remember that he is only 58 inches tall. So just by looking at these graphs, you can clearly see that Zach, our green alien, is the tallest. Let's put a check in Zach's box. Question number three asks us to focus on Zach. So let's focus on Zach. Zach is our green alien right here. And the question wants to know, how tall is Zach in inches? So to find out how tall Zach is in inches, we can look at our bar, take it all the way to the top, and see what line it perfectly matches up with. And we can see that Zach is exactly 62 inches tall. Let's put a check in Zach's box. Our final question asks us to compare two different aliens. It wants us to compare Paul and Sally. And the question says, how many inches taller is Paul than Sally? I want to show you two different ways to answer this question. I hope they're both really easy for you. First, let's look at Paul and see how tall Paul is. Paul is exactly 61 inches tall. So I'm going to write that down just to remind myself. Paul is 61 inches tall. Sally, on the other hand, is 59 inches tall. So I'm going to write that down again to remind myself. So we can tell that Paul is taller than Sally. But the question asks, 
how much taller? Let's take a closer look. The first strategy I'd like to look at is just counting up on the graph. So if we counted up from 59 to 60 and 61, we could see that there's one, two inches difference between Sally and Paul. Using this strategy, I can see that Sally is two inches shorter, meaning that Paul is two inches taller. I can also draw a number line, starting from 59, which is Sally's height, write the numbers in order until we reach Paul's height. So we'd write 59, 60, 61, and we have Paul's height at 61, and then we can just make jumps until we reach the number. And we'll see how many jumps it takes to reach to Paul. So from 59 to 60, that's one. From 60 to 61, that's another one. So I can see there's two jumps, which equals two inches. But just to prove it even further, we can add the one jump plus the other one jump. And we know that one plus one equals two. So Paul is two inches taller than Sally. Great job, everybody, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.